Coders, welcome back. It's Mohammed from Mass Code Tech, and today we will be learning about modifying objects in JavaScript. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. In this lesson, we will learn about modifying objects. So let's get started. What are modifying objects? Modifying objects are the simple way of adding up numbers in an object. So let me show you a code example. Let's go. So guys, we're right over here in our P5JS web editor and the link will be down below in the description and I will put a link right here on the screen. You can go to the link. So yeah, let's start with our object so var how to make an object var name it myself or whatever you you want to then is equals to the equals to sign an open curly bracket and a close curly bracket don't forget the semicolon then in between the variable we're gonna make in between the object i mean the open and close curly bracket we're gonna make a word so number let's name it number and put a semi a colon a colon not a semicolon a colon now we're gonna type in our number so my favorite number is four there we go we got it easy and quick now we're gonna make a text size for our title so text size and in between the parentheses we're gonna type in 30. now we're gonna make the text so text followed by parentheses semicolon and in between the parentheses, two quotation marks. And in between the quotation marks, I'm going to write my favorite number. All right, comma, the X and Y value. So 70 to 50. Yep, those worked. Now we're going to make the uh, text size a little larger. So 40, no, 35. Yeah, that's good. Now we're going to make another text for our object to work. So text followed by parentheses, semicolon. In between the parentheses, we're going to type in two quotation marks. And I'm going to type in my favorite, my favorite number is. Then we have to put, like, after is, we have to click space. So the quotation mark, uh, quotation mark at the end moves a little bit forward. So... I will tell you later why we have to do that. So then comma, uh, after the quotation mark, comma, I mean, plus our myself dot number or whatever you named over here. So myself dot number. Then you have to put a comma and then the X and Y value. So let's go with 50 to 70. No, 50 to 100. Yep, 100 is better than 10 to 100. Yep, there we go. And yeah, my favorite number is 4. Then if you need a full stop after number 4, you just have to click space, then plus, and open and two quotation marks. And in between the quotation marks, you're going to type in a full stop. Just a full stop. There you go. We have a full stop right over there. So this is our code. Now I'm going to show you how to add up the numbers. So we're going to type in the name of a variable object, myself. Then dot our variable number is equals to 20. I'm going to, no, let's go with 30. I'm going to go with 30 right now. Then we just copy the text from the above and then paste it under number 30. So 30. There we go. We got a 30. So let's make it actually a smaller number so we can see it. Let's make it 3, for example. Then let's change the y value to 150. There we go. You guys can see it. My favorite number is 3. So, guys, this is it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'll see you next time.